www.ghostbusterbaseball.com. I'm Mike Conlon. I'm one of the senior instructors with the courses. Welcome to today's blog. Today's blog is entitled, Nothing Safe About the Dollar. All right, so a lot is made about the uh, safe haven status of the U.S. dollar and the inverse correlation that it has with both stocks and commodities. All right, when the economy is seemingly doing well, risk takers look to sell dollars and buy higher yielding, riskier currencies to earn interest. Okay, this is more commonly known as a carry trade, and I've described it in an uh, article that I wrote uh, just last week. All right, the carry trade is a very easy way to make money, and it was formerly only available to sophisticated investors. All right, now you can participate in this, uh, in this trade uh, from the privacy of your own home. Um, all you have to do is uh, have a currency trading account. All right, so the basic premise behind the uh, carry trade is that you want to borrow a low-yielding currency and invest it in a higher-yielding currency. All right, and then the difference that you make is uh, your gain, and that's interest to you. All right, sounds better than putting your cash in a bank savings account, doesn't it? Um, especially if you've seen some of the uh, 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 interest rates that you're getting in savings accounts today here in the U.S. All right, so do you know what one of the uh, lowest yielding currencies is right now? Well, that's right, it's the U.S. dollar. All right, and this is likely to continue for some time. If the dollar is going to continue to decline, it doesn't sound like a very safe investment at all, does it? All right, here's a few reasons why the dollar decline will continue and why you should be concerned. As always, be sure to check out the written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. Uh, I've got some links in there um, today that you probably want to check out. Um, that's going to be related to the uh, topic at hand. So um, have a look at the written blog if you get a chance. Okay, now, uh, just this past week, uh, okay, the uh, UN is calling for a reduced role for the U.S. dollar. Okay, now, um, as you probably are aware already, the uh, U.S. dollar is essentially uh, the world's reserve currency. Uh, most commodities are uh, denominated in U.S. dollars. That's how they trade. That's how they are bought and sold. Okay, so there's a lot of, um, you know, people out there that are saying, well, you know what, maybe we need to uh, move away from that a little bit because of what's going on with the dollar. So um, anytime you hear that, um, that could pose a problem uh, for the dollar going forward because if they do decide to move away from the dollar, then people are going to sell dollar holdings and if you start to sell, okay, that's going to put downward pressure on the dollar as well. Okay, so um, this is, you know, nothing new uh, for the UN, um, but this time uh, it actually may uh, take hold depending upon uh, uh, what happens with the dollar. Okay, just recently uh, the uh, euro is at a uh, one year high to the dollar so um, you know there's some movement here. Um, dollar is near uh, its lows um, so let's see uh, what's going to happen with it. Okay, the next reason is is that the uh, Chinese now um, they're now alarmed at U.S. money printing. So, you know, I'm not certain uh, you know why this is new for them either. Um, you know, they are one of the uh, largest holders of U.S. dollars, and uh, you know, at this point, um, that seemed to be the the course that uh, strategy that we'd laid out, and you know, really there was nothing they could do about it. Well, now I think they're getting to the point where they're saying, hey, wait a second, you know what? Maybe we just better cut our losses and uh, you know and 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 move on from here. So um, as the largest uh, or one of the largest holders of U.S. dollars, if they decided they wanted to sell out of dollars, um, that could also place downward pressure on the dollar. So um, that could trigger a massive sell-off as well. Um, so that's another reason why um, the dollar could uh, continue to go down. All right, next is that the Fed is going to keep interest rates artificially low for as long as they can. Um, you know, we've talked about this in um, pretty much uh, all of my uh, most recent blogs, but it's the idea of the uh, inflation versus deflation uh, debate. Now, the uh, Fed is trying to keep rates low um, so that um, it will help with the economic recovery here in the, in the country. All right, but um, how long that's going to be is anyone's guess. All right, so analysts, they can make all the projections they want, but, um, you know, it's really just going to take time to figure out how this plays out and what's going to happen. But um, their basic intention is that they uh, want to see some inflation. All right, and that could put a uh, damper on the recovery if we do get uh, rampant inflation. Okay, and then the Fed's forced to uh, raise interest rates because if they raise interest rates, all right, what's going to happen is is that um, you're going to have further uh, declines in housing prices. Okay, because if uh, you know people are sitting here and you say, all right, the current interest rate is at uh, say 
I don't know, 6% um, and housing prices are now stable, if you start to move price, uh, interest rates up, prices in housing is going to come down because that's going to make people's monthly payments uh, less affordable. So um, that's you know the fine line that the Fed is walking right now, and they're trying to determine what's the best course of action. But um, from all likelihood, um, it looks like the dollar will be going down further. All right, so don't wait. Uh, get in a course, get educated. Come to www.mywealth.com and take a look at our uh, currency trading course. And really, uh, you know, learn about the currency market. It's it's not that difficult to get involved with, and um, it could be something that really saves you some money down the road. Now, why is this important? Because as the strength of the dollar erodes, so does your purchasing power. This leads to commodity inflation and, in general, higher cost of goods. All right, and let's face it. Uh, here in the U.S., uh, we don't produce anything anymore. So as consumers, uh, you know, you're buying stuff from abroad anyway. So with less purchasing power, that means less you can consume. All right, so how do you protect yourself from this game of chicken that the Fed and the government have put us on? Well, you learn about the currency markets. All right, diversify away from the dollar. All right, because the only way the dollar is going to do well in the near future is if everything else does poorly. And, you know, that doesn't sound like uh, so great of an option either. So uh, you really want to protect your dollar holdings. All right, so to learn more about the currency markets and how you can protect yourself from dollar deterioration and rising inflation, be sure to check out our affordable currency trading courses. All right, and at the very least, uh, be sure to set you up with a free real-time practice account. Um, you owe it to yourself to see how easy it is to get started. So I'm Mike Conlon. Thanks for being with me, and I hope to see you in those courses.